This is Dawlish Warren in its full glory, May 2013. This land is being built up by deposition. You've got coastline being eroded and the sediment is being carried along the coastline by the southwesterly prevailing winds, pushing the sediment up the beach at an angle with a powerful swash and a weak backwash. And you've got the sediment going up the beach at an angle and dropping down into the sea 90 degrees to the lie of the coastline. And eventually it's all ended up here on the west bank of the River Axe. The River X, E X E. In the foreground, we've got some variety. We've got rock armor. We're right at the end of the natural land here. And in front of us is all reclaimed. And you've got about nine big, fat, expensive groins stabilizing the beach, holding it in position because the land form is matured and people want to use it. And it's been turned into sand dunes and a beach. You can see all the groins and the sand dunes. And as we've seen in the videos, due to having walked most of the length of the spit called the Warren, the sand dunes are held in place by fences and marram grass. And there's prescribed footpaths to minimize erosion and disturbance by the thousands of people that would visit this tourist honey pot throughout the summer season. So this is a lovely part of the country. It's on the west bank of the estuary of the River X, where the sand spit has moved to block part of the river mouth. The groins here holding the beach in position, the rock armor in the foreground, and the expensive sea wall. Expensive, but I think when it lasts over a century, it's cheap. And this is an example of a fairly small spit. It's not as long as other spits, such as Spurn Head on the River Humber, but this one because it's fairly short, it makes it easier to encompass into a video. And there's the mouth of River X. So where you have the sediment being pushed along the seashore, it goes out into the river estuary, and that's where the waves lose their energy, where there's a sudden change in the direction of the coastline, and the spit is formed. It will have a recurved end or a series of recurves if there has been an abnormal wind direction for a period of time. This is Geography in Focus from Mr. Turner, who has a passion for teaching GCSE Geography. Because we live in a beautiful world, and if you can understand what you see, you appreciate that world even more.